Hey everyone, it's Jason. Welcome to another Red Dragon Inn unboxing. This is for the Allies pack. Uh, Zerara the Summoner. Um, or Zariah the Summoner. Um, so the Ally packs are generally, they're single little expansions for one new character to add into any of the games. If you bought set one, you bought set five, doesn't matter. You can add them into the games. A couple of them have dual packs, which have two different characters. Um, or, you know, more, depending on what they are. Um, yeah, it's just a fun little extra little bonus, so rather than, you know, having to keep buying full big boxes, you can buy one or two characters here or there. Um, so these are, again, not standalone, they do require one of the big games to play. So we're going to start looking at Zariah the Summoner. So of course we have a little instruction manual, which is one sheet that explains how her deck and everything works. Uh, I'm not going to read over that. I'll just go through it as we go through the cards. We do have a little tiny thing. Every time they always give you a set of gold for your character. So the uh, gold coins you possibly start with up to a four-player game. As well as your fortitude and um, alcohol content markers. Just, I'm not really sure why they... If you already have a base game, you should have enough. I guess unless you want to play... Um, you know, more than four four players. You want to play five, six, seven players. Uh, you want to keep adding them. Then someone can, hey, we got a four-player game. Someone bought a fifth pack. Now we can play as a fifth character. Um, <clears throat> does also come with a board. Um, so this is the same ones that are in the base set. Uh, deck, discard, drink me. Explains the rules. There's your two different dials. Um, all right. So then what she has, her other thing is she's going to have these uh, different tokens for her summons. She has an Amber, Scrapper, or Scrappy, and Bandit. And then she has a card here that you can put each one on. So, like, as we uh, find each one, we put each one character on the symbol that it matches. Uh, they're one-sided tokens. Um, and then when all three are filled up, we flip it over and we have a Chimera, uh, which will have various other things we can do. Um, and that's kind of the base point of how her deck plays. Um, so Zariah the Summoner, Human Mage. Um, so yeah, so what you want to be doing is playing cards to summon your animal allies, um, and then eventually getting your Chimera or your Chimera. Um, to do extra stuff. So let's just look at our deck and we'll see what there and we'll come back to the Chimera when we get there. So she has her cards that everyone has. The Gambling I'm In card. She has six copies. Uh, start of a round of gambling. Each player must, including you, must ante or take control of the round of gambling. Um, since this is an add-on pack, if you are trying to, you're looking at this like, hey, I don't know what these cards do. What is gambling? Check out Red Dragon Inc. video number one. Um, where I go over the rules of the game. Uh, we have two copies of IRAs. Uh, take control of a round of gambling. Each player, including you, must ante again. Two copies of Winging Hand. Take control of a round of gambling. The next card you control must be a cheating card. Two copies of Wench. Bring me drink. Bring some drinks for my friends. You may play this card during an order of drink phase of your turn. Pay one gold to the inn. Order two additional drinks. A uh, copy of Tip the Wench. Uh, pick a player, then pay one gold to the inn. And um, a copy of The Wench thinks you should stop playing with the drinks. Negate sometimes cards that change the effects of a drink. This includes a negate, ignore, split drinks, pass drinks to other players, or alter any of the drinks' effects. Can only be affected by I don't think so. Um, so these are cards that every single character has. Sometimes they have maybe a different combination of them, or they're called something slightly different, but they usually all have these sets. Um, they have one other card as well as called I Don't Think So. Um, <clears throat> so hers is actually called We Don't Think So. So it's a slightly different name. Uh, Negate is sometimes card. We Don't Think So can only be affected by cards that can affect I Don't Think So, and We Don't Think So can affect any cards that can be affected by I Don't Think So. So although they called it a different name, they did decide they had to uh, um, just clarify that. All right, then we're going to kind of jump into some of our other cards. And some of these might be the same or very similar with just different names of effects that other characters have. Um, 
That's just how the game is going to be. What's that up your sleeve? Take control of a round of gambling. Pick another player, force them to leave a round of gambling. So she has Scrappy. Um, who is her panther, I believe? Uh, a lion. Uh, he's a lion. Um, so he has Scrappy, those aren't for, whoop, I read the card. Scrappy, those aren't for lions. Take control of a round of gambling. So whenever you see a symbol on the card, that means you get to then summon one of these. So if I played this card, I would get to take my Scrappy token, and I could place it on my Chimera. Um, if it was already there, then nothing happens. So you want to try and do is play all three of them kind of like in consecutive turns. We have... I need new cards, Meyer Soggy, take control of a round of gambling. So this is Amber, who's an ailmate, ailmental, so instead of like an elemental, she's an ailmental, she's an elemental made of alcohol. Um, and then we have, we swear we aren't cheating. Um, take control of a round of gambling. So this is Bandit the Weasel. Uh, or Ferret, um, I guess it's a ferret. Uh, there's little goggles on, which is really cute. Um, yeah, so you get play all three of them, and then you get some of your Chimera. Then, if that happens, we have a card like this, which says, Amber has a knack for mixing drinks. Pick another player, they gain one alcohol content. So, if your Chimera is available, you've played all three, you flip this over, it has an effect that says, um, action, you can spend your action instead of playing an action card with your Chimera. Um, you can dispel the Chimera, then pick a player that is three fortitude. Or, you can dispel the Chimera to activate a Chimera effect on the card you play from your hand. So if you, uh, dispel them, you just flip them back over, then you start again trying to place your tokens back down. Um, but you don't have to use this the first turn it happens. So whenever you place that, this immediately flips over, then you can either use one of the two actions. When you do, then you do it. So if you pick the dispel one so now it says um on this says if i have my chimera out i can use the effect that says instead reveal two drinks with possible cases from the drink deck if you reveal a drink event discard and reveal it give a one of the revealed drinks to another player shuffle the other back into the drink deck so if i just ignore if i don't have my chimera out, discard pick another player they gain one alcohol content and then I get to place my Amber down if I have her, if I haven't already. Um, if I have the Chimera, I can instead do the top effect, um, then add on, instead, instead of taking it, instead, I can reveal the two drinks, force them to drink. So instead of giving them one alcohol, I can make them drink um, a choice. Then my Chimera goes away, and I still get my Amber token. So I start off with one of the three. So it's kind of fun. Um... Nice Hustle Bandit. So two copies of this. Pick a player, they pay you one gold. If your Chimera instead they lose one fortitude, pay you two gold and discard the top card of their drink me pile. With friends like these, I feel sorry for my enemies. Pick another player, they lose two fortitude. Your Chimera instead they lose two fortitude and gain one alcohol content and you gain one gold. Um, and then if you have a card like this, which has all three pictures, you can pick whichever one you want. Um, two copies of Scrappy Only Looks Cute. Pick another player, they lose two Fortitude. Chimera, instead they lose four Fortitude. Now that's what I call teamwork. Choose one, gain two Fortitude, or lose two alcohol content, or each player pays you one gold. So, it's kind of each, each one of the summons does a different thing. So... Um, Amber's going to usually have to do with the, uh, alcohol content, um, Scrappy, the lion, has to do with the fortitude, and, uh, Bandit, the ferret, has to usually do with the gold. Um, so, so yeah, the Chimera, instead, two, 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 two of them, and they must, two of them, and they must be different. Uh, two copies of They've Got My Back. Ignore an action, sometimes, or any time card. It affects your fortitude, alcohol content, or gold. You may not use this card during or a round of gambling. Two copies of I Don't Need My Friends to Defend Myself. You may play this card immediately after you lose fortitude from a card played by another player. You may not play this card if you reduce that fortitude to loss. 
that player loses to fortitude. Um, a toast for teamwork. Reduce alcohol content of a drink by two. Chimera, give the drink you are about to drink to another player instead. Um, now we're practicing our victory pose. You may play this card when you must ante. Instead of ante, uh, you may leave the wrong or ignore a drink. Uh, two copies of Scrappy, leave the wench alone, ignore a drink, um, and then pay one gold to the ing. Um, banish beverage, uh, ignore a drink. Ailmental is really know how to party. Add two alcohol content to a drink. Chimera, instead that drink gains the effect immediately after you drink this drink in the top card of the drink deck. Um, come and join the party. Just simple way to get one of your summons out. And then finally we have two copies of Good Eye Bandit. Uh, which is a sometimes card. You may play this card when you're about to lose gold. Use gold from the ing rather than from your own stash. Um, yes, definitely interesting. They have some neat effects. Um, constantly getting to play your summons and then um, getting to summon forth that chimera and then just figuring out the best time to use it. Whether um, hitting someone for 3 4 or 2 might be really helpful, but some of them other effects can be very beneficial. Um, and then after you do the Chimera, you usually get one of the three. So you only have to play two of the other cards. Um, so it's, it's an interesting balancing game you have to play around. Alright, uh, and then the last one little thing I want to point out is if you buy uh, Red Dragon in Set 5, the Treasure Trove. It's a storage box, but it also includes some updates for some of the earlier packs. So anything that came out uh, before Set 5. Um, so one thing they do is they replace uh, your regular board here, just your kind of like generic plainish board, with a specific character board. Um, and then any set that came out after after five, um, any of the extra allies or bigger sets, all their cards all came with this. So instead of having just this kind of generic -y one, now you get a bigger. Longer one that, you know, does still tell you your turn order, but specified per character has their card on there. Um, still has their dial going all the way around. Deck, discard, and drink me um, piles. That also has a spot on the top for her for her Chimera card. Just so you can put that up there. It's just a reference if that's where that should go. Um, so it's actually a neat extra little thing. So if you pick up that box, you'll get that. You'll also get a deck divider for the character, which will have A showing she's part of the allies. And then on the back, it has um, just a brief explanation on how this character works. If you have special abilities. Um, so Chimera for to attack and the card power up. Um, yeah, so it's kind of neat. So if you are looking for just some extra little stuff, if you are collecting it, there's another uh, extra if you've seen. You buy like a later set and you're like, oh, I got these cards, but I don't have them. If you pick up set five, they're in there for all the previous characters that don't have them, then all further characters will get them. All right, so that is what we have for Zariah the Summoner. All right, see you guys in the next video. Bye.